Today, in this video, we're going to show you white and black dwarf stars. Let's read on Wikipedia, starting with white dwarf. <laughs> white dwarf. A white dwarf, also called a degenerate dwarf, is a stellar core runament composed mostly of electron degenerate matter. A white dwarf is very dense. Its mass is comparable to that of the sun, while its volume is compared to that of Earth. A white dwarf's faint luminosity comes from the emission of the stored thermal energy. No fusion, no fusion takes place in, in a white dwarf. The nearest known white dwarf is Sirius B at 8.6 light years. The smallest com component of the Sirius binary star. There are currently thought to be eight white dwarfs among the hundred star systems nearest to, to the sun. The unusual fateness of white dwarfs was first recognized in 1910. The name white dwarf was coined by William Luton in nine, 1922. White dwarfs are thought to be the final ever of nuclear state of stars whose mass is not high enough to become a neutron star, which is about 10 solar masses. This includes over 97 of these other stars in the Milky Way. After, after the hydrogen fusing period of a main sequence star of low or medium mass ends, such a star will expand to a red giant during which it fuses helium to carbon to and oxygen in its core by the triple alpha process. If a red giant has insufficient mass to generate the core temperatures required to fuse carbon around 1 billion K, an insert mass of carbon in and oxygen will build up at its center. After such a star sheds its outer layers and forms a planetary nebula, and it will leave behind it will carbon oxygen, which is the carbon oxygen. You see, planetary nebula. It will leave behind the core, which is the remnant white dwarf. Usually, white dwarfs are composed of carbon and oxygen. CO white dwarf. If the mass of the protein is between 8 and 10.5 solar masses, the core temperature will be sufficient to fuse carbon but not neon, in which case an oxygen, neon, magnesium, O, N, E, M, G, or dwarf, or O, N, E, white dwarf may form. Stars of very low mass are not able to fuse helium, hence, a helium white dwarf may form by mass loss in binary systems. The material in a white dwarf no longer undergo, undergoes fusion reactions, so the star has no source of energy. As a result, it cannot support itself by the heat generated by fusion against a gravitational collapse, but is supported only by electron dis degeneracy pres causing it to be extremely dense. The, physics, the physics of degeneracy yields a maximum, a maximum, a maximum mass for a non-rotating white dwarf. The charge racial limit, approximately 1.44 times m beyond which it cannot be supported by electron degeneracy pressure. A carbon oxygen white dwarf that approaches this mass limit typically by mass transfer from a companion star may explode as a type LA supernova via a process known as carbon detonation CSN2 1006 is thought to be a famous example. White, a white dwarf is very hot when it forms. Because it has no source of energy, it will gradually cool down. 
it will gradually cool as it radiates its energy. That means that its radiation will indeedly have a high co color temperature, which lessen and redden with time. Over a very long time, a white dwarf will cool and its material will begin to crystallize, starting with the core. The star's lower temperature means it, n it will no longer emit significant heat or light, and it will become a cold and dark black dwarf. Because the length of the time for a white dwarf to reach this state is calculated to be longer than the current age of the universe, approximately 13.8 billion years, it is thought that no black dwarfs exist yet. The oldest white dwarfs still radiate at temperatures of a few thousand kelvins. This is white dwarf. This is like Sirius B sub dwarfs. Here's notes about these. Here's another m mass thing. Mass. Here's all about mass. Here's all about mass about the white dwarf stars. I'll try to put. I'll try to do. I'll try to do black dwarf now. A black dwarf is a theoretical stellar remnant, specifically a white dwarf that has cooled sufficiently that it no longer emits significant heat or light. Because the time required for a white dwarf to reach this state is calculated to be longer than the current age of the universe, 13.77 billion years, no black dwarfs are, are expected to exist in the universe as now and the temperature of the coolest white dwarfs is one option observed national limit on the age of the universe. And the name black dwarf has also been applied to hypothetical late stage cooled brown dwarfs, substellar objects that do not have suspicious mass less than approximately 0.8 million to maintain hydrogen burning nuclear fusion. Black dwarfs should not be confused with black holes or black stars. Formation. A white dwarf is what remains of a main sequence star of low or medium mass below approximately 9 to 10 solar masses and after it has either expelled or fused all the elements which for which it has sufficient temperature to fuse. What is left is then a dense sphere of electron degenerate matter that cools slowly by thermal radiation eventually becoming a black dwarf. If black dwarfs were to exist, they would be extremely difficult to detect because by definition they would emit very little radiation. They would, however, they be detectable through their gravitational influence. Various white dwarfs cooled below 3,900 Kelvin MO spectral class were found in 2012 by astronomers using MDM Observatory E's 24-meter telescope. They were estimated to be 211 to 12 billion years old. Because the far future evolution of stars or physical questions which are poorly understood, such as the nature of dark matter and the possibility and rate of proton decay, it is not known especially how long it will take white dwarfs to cool the blackness. Barrow and Tipler estimate that if it would took 10 to 15 power years for a white dwarf to cool to 5K. 
However, if weakly inter interacting massive particles would exist, it is possible that the interactions of these particles will keep some white dwarf warmer for uh, for this for exprong exprongly ten to the power of twenty five years. If protons are not stable, white dwarfs will also be kept warm by energy released from proton decay for a hypothetical proton lifetime of 10 to the 37 power years. Atoms in love and calculate that proton decay will raise the effective surface temperature of, of, old, of an old one solar mass white dwarf to approximately, approximately 0 0.06. Kelvin. Although cold, this is thought to be hotter than the cosmic background radiation temperature er, 10 to 37 years in the future. It is special that some massive black dwarfs may eventually produce supernova explosions. These will occur if carbon density based fusion processes much of the star to iron, which would lower the are limit for some black dwarfs below their actual mass. If the point is reached, then it would collapse, then imitate runaway nuclear fusion. The most massive to explode would be near 1.35 solar masses and would take an order of 10 to 10, 1,100 power years, which the least massive to explode would be the about 1.16 solar masses and would take the order to order order 10 to the 32,000 power years totaling about one of all black dwarfs. One major event to be is that proton decay will decrease the mass of a black dwarf far more rapidly than sunk the process occur preventing any supernova explosions. Once the future of the sun, once the sun stops fusing helium in its core and ejects its layers in a planetary nebula in about 8 billion years, it will become a white dwarf and over trillions of years, eventually it will no longer emit any light. After that, the sun will not be visible to the equivalent of the human naked eye, removing it from the view even when the gravitational effects are evident. The estimated time for the sun to cool enough to become a black dwarf is about 10 to the 15 one quad power years, one quadrillion years, though that it could take much longer than this if weakly interacting massive particles exist as described above. Uh,